This video intends to teach you how to use a rapid response drug testing kit. It will walk you through how to prepare a sample for testing, how to test it properly, and how to read the test results. We will also talk about the limitations of this testing kit and the risks still involved when using substances tested by these kits. Before you prepare your sample for testing, ensure you have the correct testing strip and that it is not expired. Look on the back of the package for the printed substance name as well as the expiry date. Once you are sure you have the correct testing strip, we can prepare our sample for testing. You will need to take a small amount of the substance in question and put it in a small vessel with some water. Saline will work best for this, but if you only have access to tap water, that will be fine for this test. Combine and stir the substance into the water in your sample vessel until dissolved. Your sample is now ready for testing. Once your sample is ready for testing, you may open the package. You will see a silicone gel packet that can be thrown away. You will also find a long skinny strip with two distinct halves. One half is blue and helps confirm you have the correct testing strip by having a shorthand substance name such as FYL or BZO. The second half has blue squiggly lines indicating the part of the strip designed to come in contact with your fluid sample. Place the side with the blue squiggly lines into the sample, ensuring that you do not have the water go above the solid horizontal blue line. Leave it there for around 10 seconds and then remove it. Place the strip down somewhere and wait for two minutes to read the results. If you are with professionals while testing your substance, feel free to ask any questions you have. Being informed of how things work and the risks involved is good. Once you have waited two full minutes, you can read your test results. If only one line is present and it is closest to the shorthand of the chemical name, the test is positive. This means the sample contains a substance for which you are testing. If there are two visible lines, the test is negative for the substance for which you are testing. If no lines are visible, as seen here on the benzo strip on the bottom, or only one line is present on the same side as the blue squiggly lines, your test is considered to be invalid. You will have to get a new strip and test again, as the strip you've used may be defective. There are a few things to be aware of. First, just because a strip comes back with a negative result does not mean that there is none of that substance throughout the entire supply you pulled your sample from. There could be trace or large amounts of that substance elsewhere in the supply. Be cautious. False negatives are possible. There is always a possibility that a strip doesn't work as intended and you receive a false negative. If you are still concerned, you can run a second test. These kits only test for the one substance written on the back. If you receive a negative result for fentanyl, there is no guarantee there isn't something else such as benzodiazepines in the supply you tested from. Keep this in mind and test for each substance that you are worried could be present. If you're going to use, it is better to do so as safely as possible. It is always better to test your supply. It is never a good idea to use alone. Whenever possible, have someone around in case something happens. If you have no one you can trust to watch you or be with you while you use, consider going somewhere like the Safe Consumption site or visit Blood Ties. Narcan and a testing kit does not guarantee your safety. Call 911 if anything unexpected happens. If you or the person you are with feels unwell after using, or if you see any unconventional behavior, always call 911. 